Hey Gizmos, welcome back to another anime reaction time on the great channel Gizmia. Today we're going to continue watching Mob Psycho 100. Yes, but now it is episode 7. So, last episode we kind of saw how Mob's brother is a little bit distant because they kind of, you know, the grass is always green on the other side. So, one wants what the other one has and the other one thinks that the other one has better things than what he has. So, it's kind of this whole little, um... Kind of, no one's ever happy where they're at. So, um, his brother wants to be more like Mob. I can't remember his brother's name, but his brother wants to be more like, um, like Mob. And so he kind of got into this fake kind of psychic group that was pretty funny to watch too. And Mob finally went on his first date with, um, with the girl, um, the girl from the, from the psychic club from the te telekinesis club and who wants to have intergalactic um communication with other species <laughs> and so that happened in the last episode and it was pretty funny yeah so i hope this episode is kind of the same i hope to see a little bit more of what his brother is gonna do how he's gonna get distance from him what is he because he's kind of you know you're seeing a lot of jealousy from his part so i want to see how that evolves a little bit more and also, um, he started doing uh, bad things, the brother started doing bad things because he, for example, he framed another student and really because of the other president of the club that he's in, of the student council. So kind of want to see what path he's going to go down in this episode, if there's going to be a little bit more, kind of a bit more of a conclusion there, a little more um, kind of to what they're going to do, what they're going to say. But, um, finally, we've reached the middle of it. We're past the middle part, past the midpoint that uh, we were on six last episode, and now it is seven. So, hope it's gonna get, I mean, it's been really interesting so far. It's been very funny, but I wonder now what's gonna happen a little bit more. I'm kind of entering the final, like, the conclusion part of this anime, the second part <laughs> so um before we begin don't forget to subscribe below help us reach our goal and i hope you really like this video so without further ado let's start watching mob psycho 100 season 1 episode 7 let's start action hmm? what's that at the same time that ritsu was mistaking dimple for some sort of creepy looking balloon <laughs> <laughs> the rumors going around about Mob, who had bested Hanazawa, shadow leader of Black mm, Vinegar Middle mm -hmm. School, started to take on a life of their own. <laughs> White Tea Poison. This was the title given to Mob, whose identity had yet to be revealed. White Tea Poison. That is completely far from White what Mob's poison. personality is. <laughs> I'll be the one to defeat him. Well, there's a lot of gangs the here. Poison guy, make him admit that I'm the best. So the next target is Salt Middle School. No, God. We'll make no, 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 no. <laughs> this is my chance to shine. And so, the rumor mascot? mill continued turning out of control. The fierce battle to see who would take down White Tea Poison was about Their to Their territories. <laughs> Exaltation. I've obtained loss. Whew. Episode 7. Thanks for the help. Somehow, I managed to make it back from the particle level all by myself. <laughs> But my spiritual energy was way less than it used to be. So I couldn't get back into the house anymore. It appears that low-level spirits can't go anywhere near this place simply because Shigeo lives here. Hmm. What is that? <laughs> Some kind of talking jellyfish-looking thing? A talking jellyfish, yeah. I know what needs to be done. Sounds a lot like it. Huh? Oh! Wanna shake hands? We have to exercise it! No, that's not how you exercise things! Stop eating me in the face already! I'm not a threat! I'm Shinka Hill's friend! Your what? You could even his call band me his mentor! Made. I'll let his you off mentor. the hook this time wow. because you were obviously confused and panicked. But that aside, I've got a proposition. How about you and I team up? No thanks. Hey, let's not be so hasty. Wait a second, just hear me out. You've only recently awakened your psychic powers, right? What? I have psychic powers now? <laughs> the fact that you can see me is proof of your newfound abilities. The name's Dimple. I'm what most people would call a ghost. So are my psychic powers only strong enough to allow me to see ghosts like you? <laughs> well, I see you haven't realized how to use them yet. Go ahead. You should be able to do that now, just like your brother. I shouldn't um. get my hopes up. Is he? Hmm? What's the matter? 
Doing anything like this is way out of my reach. What's with him? Does he have a complex or something? Well, that's understandable, given who his brother is and all. It... It's... It's not... I can't do it! Jimbo! It's not bending! <laughs> hey, relax, kid. What the... Did I do that? My heading's so frustrated. Join me, little Ritsu. Join me and I'll help you surpass your brother. <laughs> but why? Surpass my brother? Is that even possible? I can be more powerful than Shige? Sure you can, if you let me use your body. Oh no. Ritsu's not eating with us? I guess he's not hungry. I wonder what could be wrong with him. Is he upset about something? No. In fact, he seems oddly happy. How do I get to the point where I can use my powers freely? It's better to actually try them out rather than explain, little Ritsu. Stop calling me that. Fine, then. Plain old Ritsu it is. Now how about you close your eyes <laughs> and relax your entire body? I like that these ghosts are so different from what we think we know Prepare about them. Prepare for possession, you fools! Now your body's mine for the taking! Oh, God. <laughs> what? I possessed him, but I can't control him? Uh, hey, Dimple. Where'd you go? It's because my spiritual powers have become so weak! Damn it! <laughs> I can't control him. It's hilarious. <laughs> I heard the student council took care of the problem. Oh, Are you not the pervy gang leader? Well, way to go. They're the heroes of the school. They framed him. That's not Yamazaki, a hero. Year two, class four. I'd like a word with you. Huh? What do you want? Your coat. It isn't buttoned. So what? Buzz off. I can do it. Now I can use psychic powers, Dimple. That's because I'm helping to regulate their output. But rest assured. These abilities have always been there, lying dormant. And it's my guess that the reason they came out now is due to some radical change in your emotional state. Yeah. Have you endured some way above average stress levels lately? Like pooping your pants in public or getting caught peeking into the girls' locker room? What kind of question is that? I'd never do those things. I was joking, Ritsu. Don't be so damn serious. <laughs> oh, that's right. Why so You're serious? You're an honor student, aren't you? Then what is it? Did you do something bad? A rumor's going around that you're stealing the girl's gym clothes. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Uh... The student council did some investigating. And what did we find out, Kageyama? We discovered some of the girl's gym clothes, tucked away and hidden in your bag. Uh, what? You guys are lying! Deny it if you want, but that may not go so well for you. You see, the school's been very strict with deviants lately. So but that's I'm what's making his way out of this. Um, mood shift. Simply admit, Onigawara ordered you to do these but things. This guy gets some sleep, you please. Comply, you're merely another victim. <laughs> Sound good? Now button up. Using now these and other similar them. methods, the whole school was cleaned up, turning it into the optimal environment for academics. However, because of the considerably immoral strategy that was used upon certain delinquent students to accomplish this outcome. A deep scar would be forever engraved on their lives. Mm. And the two student council members saddled with this task had to live with that burden. So they either became drunk with power, feeling a delusional sense of accomplishment, or they suffered greatly. Whoa! Why'd he do it? Ritsu, your power's growing even more! I see. Corruption and guilt. Those are the things that become fuel for my powers. Whatever you're doing, it is working! What's the matter? Something eating at you? Dimple, you just won't stop talking. Oh? Tell me, if I could control my powers on my own, would I be able to make you disappear? Wait, is his personality changing too? <laughs> the way he scratches his dimples. What's that really a dimple? Oh, it's more like blush. Seriously? Went a little Amazing. heavy on the blush. That's incredible, Kageyama! Want me to keep going? If you'd like to see a bigger example, I could fold your car in half. What? <laughs> what in the hell's gotten into him? 
Oh, he's going to the bad side. I don't know if Excuse I like me. this. May I help you with something? I heard from Kamaro that you're the one who's been planning all that false evidence around. Tell me, are you the one who framed us? I have no idea what you're talking about, Dimpo. Leave it to me. Even if I did do such a thing, now it's too late. Boy, you little... Who in the hell do you think we are? <coughs> oh. That doesn't get him! You're dead! What is that move? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I quite oh, liked him. That's scary. But isn't that guy's hair like totally amazing? Check it out. You're right. Whoa. <clears throat> hey, you there. What's up? God, that's... I think you've done enough. Oh, God. <laughs> if you depend on that, you'll get hurt. You've got the wrong idea about this. I know, you think you're really special. It's hard looking at someone who reminds me of the way I used to be. Consider this a warning. Don't try to live relying on psychic powers. <laughs> are you another Esper like hair. me? I have no idea who you are. But I have no need to take warnings from you. Don't mess with this guy! He's got someone you can beat! I'm sure he's not much different from the people at the Awakening Lab. I want to size up our powers. Ritsu, you idiot! Don't do it! Why, thank you for the handshake. I'm Taruki Hanazawa. Pleasure. Don't try to fight him! Let go now! Having trouble standing, are you? <laughs> You're so young. <laughs> Shout your chance! Run for it! <laughs> I was surprised at how strong he was back yes. then. Yes. Maybe it's because his brain's so developed. Could that coincide with his power level? No, his brain's not huge. That was a wig. Though I'm not sure oh. why he was wearing it. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. How I don't know why he would go for such a huge wig. He could have just got Double. one that was his size. I want to get even stronger. Oh so no, I won't power lose to anyone does ever crazy again. things to people. Oh, little boy, do you have a moment? <laughs> Another LOL fan. <laughs> This is the vase of happiness. A renowned potter put his heart and soul into making it a one of a kind. Anyone who buys this item will surely be blessed. Now, it normally goes for about 2.5 million yen, but I'll make you a deal. 800,000 yen just for you. I don't have that kind of money. Then I'll drop the price to 500,000. Well, I don't have 500,000 yen either. Running low on funds? Just call your mommy and ask her. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my mom also wouldn't buy it. This isn't over yet, kid. Oh. Hey, why don't you touch it? The grainy texture feels so nice. Uh, Here. I can't really tell. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. How did he... <laughs> you should be careful. <laughs> hey, you broke it. Whoa! Wait, uh, I didn't... What? You're going to say it was my fault? Uh, no, but... Look, little boy. Problems that you can solve with money are better than those that you can't. Got it? Oh, what a run of bad luck. Did you break that, sir? Oh, Do you have a God. I, I don't... He's scam artist. That <laughs> rang at the perfect time. Why don't you answer it? Now, what are you doing, Mob? Why'd you make me come down here anyway? You know I'm taking a meeting soon. <laughs> Would you happen to be this boy's guardian, sir? Oh, I get it. It's five million yen to replace this. You mean that huge piece of junk? No <laughs> way it's worth that. Wait, what did you say? Listen, you don't seem to know how things work. Maybe I'll teach you a lesson. Ow, ow, ow! You totally cracked my clavicle! That's gonna cost you, my friend! Oh, huh? one scam artist the for another one. The fix me up for about a million yen. You can't be serious, you dumbass! That's outrageous! <laughs> Verbal abuse causes psychological damage, so that's gonna be another million. Listen, you! You got bad breath. Subjecting me to it's another million. What the hell? The voice is causing me ear damage, that'll be another million. Look, you frayed my shirt. 
And that's one more million for garment damage. Whoa. Now that's equal to what he owes you for the vase. <laughs> I'm no stranger to the kind of business you guys are running. Come on, Mob. Let's go. You're not going anywhere. There's no escape. This boy's misfortune was decided the moment he broke the vase of happiness. I'd hate for anything bad to happen to him. Misfortune? Bad things? Before I came here, I was talking to someone who had been haunted by an evil spirit. Apparently it can be passed along, and now the spirit's haunting me. I hear strange noises at night. Weird things keep popping up in pictures. Doors open and shut on their own. It becomes unbearable. Who knows? The spirit might have transferred to you guys by now. Be careful when you go to bed tonight! <laughs> A haunting? Doesn't feel too great, does it? That's pretty much exactly what you guys are doing. <laughs> A ghost? What are you, a little kid? Oh. So scary! <laughs> <laughs> now they're running. Now they're scared, right? That sure shut those two up quick. Oh, the ramen. <laughs> and I gotta say, that last bit was great, Mob. Huh? Hey, you shook the building to scare them, didn't you? Nuh-uh. Oh. I thought all that was you sending the evil spirit after those two. Wait a second. Are you saying you couldn't see- Come on! Oh, of course I could see it. I can't believe them. Con artists are terrible people. The worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. You said it. Only the lowest of the low try to take advantage of someone's weakness and exploit it for their own gain. Yeah, Reagan, why don't you tell us what? more, please, <laughs> about how low yes, they are. You said so you're trash too? Then all I was doing was chewing some gum during class. Kamara, this school doesn't belong to you. We still have other pieces of trash to deal with. Let's keep things moving. You plan mm -hmm. to continue this? Come on. You're not going to suggest we stop, are you? No. It's just that you make me feel sick, that's all. You get off on this, don't you? <laughs> I was correct in choosing you as an accomplice. If you knew, why did you decide to help me? Because I was tired. Just tired of being myself, of everything. Maybe I wanted to find out what it would feel like to be a fool. Hmm. There's well, more to it than that. He's doing something after all. In the all. end, it made us both popular. You and I have become the heroes of this entire school. Yeah, but also the villains. So looks too old for school guy wanting to be popular? <laughs> I, on the other hand, have obtained a much bigger world. By the way, President, <laughs> did you happen to find any telepaths out there? If I did, I wouldn't be here now, would I? Inukawa, you can't put a bomb there! That's cheating! Karata, <laughs> would you mind being a little quieter, please? Because I've still got a few more things I want to say over here. Oh, sorry. Sashi, that's enough. No, it's not. Now man up. Go to class, Onigawara. I've got no place there. I mean, none of my friends will even talk to me anymore. Mm. Oh, a visitor. Ah! The student council president! I see this place is as rotten as the rumors led me to believe. More to the point, what are you doing on campus, Onigawara? Infiltrating the school when you haven't been showing up to class? No! But I can't stay at home. If I do, my mom will ask me why I'm not- Listen to me, President. Onigawara didn't do what you think he did. Should I have you all dealt with for being his accomplices? All these Cause people. Forget, I have the power to do so. What? President, just let it go to their head. Some weird guy just showed up at the school gates. What should we do? It never ends. The problems pile up one after another. So who are you guys? I told Ten the other nerd that I'm here for white tea poison. Oh, yeah, white tea, white poison. tea poison? What on earth is that? Don't play dumb. He's the talk of all the thugs right now. I'll deal with him, President. That should settle things. Whoa, you really laid him out. It was done in self-defense. Not to mention they were students from another school, so it shouldn't matter. He gets his little cheeks Not only in. is he willing to get into a fight, he's incredibly strong, too. Hey, are you the guy that knocked out Kinsaki? Huh? Who's better known as White Tea Poison? What are they doing? <laughs> what are you... Oh no, ha, huh? now he's not such a big man, idea. right? Who the hell is White Tea Poison? I don't... <laughs> That's enough! It's time to stop this! Oh. Man, you look awful. This is all your fault! I became a victim because of you! You taught a gang leader from another school a lesson! Don't you understand? No, he doesn't if that's like true, it. then so be it. He got what was coming to him. <laughs> His face is crazy looking. Uh, you're kidding me! No! No! 
out again! Are you that white tea poison guy? <laughs> oh, it's you, Tokugawa. Shinji doesn't want to see anyone right now. Is that so? Disgusting. For someone who wanted to get rid of the garbage, you should have started with your own room. <laughs> How'd you get in here? No matter. Either way, we still have trash to contend with at school. No way! I'm done with all that! Get out of here! It's too late. It's trash bags. We've both done something unforgivable with our roles in this. No one's going to save us, understand? Now he wants out, right? It seems the puppet's been pole? broken. The school is finally clean. So now what you gonna do? You know thugs from other schools are gonna keep showing up. With these powers, I can do whatever I want. Yeah! You could be a psychic superstar! <laughs> Dimple, you're trying to use me as well, aren't you? <gasps> what are you talking about, Ritsu? We're partners! I'm on your side! Mm. Soy Sauce Middle School, what is up with these names? Oh, here they come. More than usual today. Well, that one is huge. I came to see ah, what was going on. Just like his on, hair. Of course. <laughs> Are you that white tea poison guy who beat Hanazawa and Kenzaki? What? Is he pretending to be Kageyama? I think things will finally be settled once I deal with you guys. So let's just say you found your man. It looks like I'm gonna have to ask him about this myself. I found something interesting. I believe he's the one you were looking for. I'll apprehend Who's him and this head back. One? Oh. But before that, I should watch for a bit and see how good he is. Masked person. Possession. All right, let's get this over with. Oh God. <laughs> They're all on top of each other, basically. Don't stop! Go get him, you chickens! We would, but we can't move! Hey, Dimple, let's go all out. Oh, wow. Now's my chance! Huh? Ow! Oh, his back the magic hurt. magic tricks won't work on me! White cheap poison! Whoa. What's going on here? Is White Tea Poison doing that? Maybe, but he can't stop all of us. Let's charge him! <laughs> Don't worry, I won't judge any of you. I've come to understand something. When people wander from the right path in their lives, there usually isn't any reason. I guess it's always been that way. I'm facing enemies that have lost the will to fight, moving forward for the sake of violence. There's no reason there. This kind of freedom is strong. Boundless. I'm much freer than all of you. Oh, God. why you ask? I'll tell you. Because I've lost my limits. I've obtained loss. Oh, oh God, he beat them all up. Is it Ma? It's you. What are you doing, Ritsu? Ah. Oh. Oh, they always like to leave them on hip on cliffhangers, don't they? Oh man, I can't believe Ritsu actually went to the dark side. It's like when we lost Anakin. <laughs> it oh, I didn't like that part. I thought he was gonna. Well, he's always been kind of the goody two shoes. They've both been good kids, and I don't understand why now he wants to stray. I mean, I understand that he's jealous and he kind of wants to see other things, but come on. <laughs> I mean, really. That, that that really sucks. That part is is really bad. I, I didn't like it. But, well, it was interesting. It was a good episode. I did like the episode a lot, even though not that part. But, I mean, I guess we always have to kind of see, kind of like Sasuke from Naruto also, strayed the path and we just have to deal with it because that happens, you know, life. <laughs> not sure when I got so philosophical but well um, leave down in the comments what you thought if you liked the episode what do you think about Ritsu actually trying to be the t-shirt gang leader pepper salt the gang guy the one who's making who they put the name of mob yes the name that they gave Mob, and Rich is trying to be that person. So let me know what you think and what you thought of this episode, what you think is going to happen next, if you think he's going to 
continue straying from his path of righteousness and good and go to the other side or what do you think is going to happen and let me know if you like this video too don't forget to like and subscribe below and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for hanging out with me thank you for spending time here and for watching the video i'll see you next time bye gizmos